What's up, beautiful people? It's another beautiful day here in Africa. My name is DJ Ninja254. If this is your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back to watch all my videos. Uh, this is a very old bike. It's known as Black Mamba. Actually, Black Mamba is a one of the snakes but this bike was named as black mamba i was reading somewhere that it is uh this year 2024 the year that i'm recording this clip this bike actually has clocked 124 years not this one the one that i'm holding but this type of bike like the first invention uh, was done 124 years ago. I've uh, placed this outside. This is where we do reside. And I want to do some cleaning. I want to do some cleaning. Uh, this is a... Uh, As you can see, it's just uh, made up of two wheels. The rear and the front wheel. Actually, in the area where I'm recording this clip, uh, this is the western side of Kenya. In the past, uh, there was a tribe. Actually, Luya is a tribe uh, in Kenya, but uh, there's a sub-tribe of the Luya community known as the Wanga. Actually, the Luya community on this western side of Kenya are the majority. And uh, they have around 17 to 20 sub-tribes. So there's a certain sub-tribe. Look at that chicken is looking at me. I think he or she is angry. So, guys, I was saying there is a Luya community known as the Wanga. They are the ones who collaborated with the British when they were coming over to Kenya to colonize. So there's, it, it, was a, it was a kingdom. It is located in uh, Kakamega County, one of the counties in uh, Kenya. So that king was known as Nabongo Mumia. He was uh, the first person to own a uh, bicycle like this one uh, uh, during colonization period and this bike actually in the 1930s that is when it started to become famous so I wanna clean this bike it is just about to rain can see how dark it is. In fact, there's some uh, droplets coming. I was just uh, burning some litter over there and decided to to wash this bicycle. It is a single pedal without gear, no gear. <laughs> uh, this one, during uh, when you are climbing something like a hill, it's not that easy. It's very technical. Uh, you have to put in more energy to cycle the uh, such kind of a a bike. Uh, it is it is missing some parts, like uh, it doesn't have. There's a stand that is normally placed here, so that, uh, for instance, I'll uh, I tend to have a problem when making it to stop you see there's nowhere that it can uh, hold itself there should be a stand here either on the side or just one that cuts across here all the way to this uh, place uh, there are some people with uh, good mountain bikes and uh, other inventions and because this bike is uh, uh it's quite light 
it's quite light uh, there are some that if you by the by the by the look you can just tell whether it is light like this one is light uh, these tires are new the only problem with uh, such kind of bike uh, at times is uh, these wires i don't know the name is it spoke um, like this one you can see this one has already uh, it has a uh, it has removed itself from the i think this is the sprocket and you can see the pedal is not that new but actually it's funny uh there are some bikes that if you look at them you live in <laughs> wonder how people survive over here in africa like you might you might be surprised that uh somebody has such a uh, bicycle and uh, this pedal you see these rubbers you may be surprised that they are totally missing just find this uh this uh metallic piece and this only only that metallic piece uh the brake parts that i'm using you can see just rubber they have cut the tires and then modified modified to make to make this uh this is actually the king of the road uh, so these uh, two children are uh, they're my children uh you know with youtube it's not good to record other people's children uh, without their consent so what is this mary like tab. Uh, so i'm asking her what's this it's written what's next it's actually from some missionaries known as christ for all nations Bendua. so guys um here yeah, i wanna clean this uh, bicycle there's something that i've seen of reason recently there's something like a engine that is normally installed somewhere here so that when one is uh, uh, climbing something like a hill you don't have to cycle with a lot of energy you just press the engine uh, one of these finders um, maybe i'll research about it and uh, something like a where they place a, um, the um, fuel it's normally placed here and then the engine it is placed somewhere around here there are some some things that are missing like uh this bicycle should have a bell there is this place that should have something like a stand and uh, also uh, something like a light so that uh, at night it can be visible but in africa it's uh, funny people use bicycles in such a way that uh, you may look at the state of the bicycle and really wonder i really admire some youtubers who travel around the world uh, on a moto on a motorcycle uh, there's one youtuber that is in Kenya, uh, traveling using, is using trici tricycle, the one with uh, three legs, but uh, he's, he's known as Kino Yves, uh, but he's, uh, he is using, it is motorized, let me put it that way, I don't know whether I'll be able to watch uh to clean this bicycle Mary Simwage that's really I'm instructing her not to pour this water I don't know whether I'll be able to wash it because it has just started to rain actually these are, are interesting times normally during other period uh it's normally very dry sorry during other other years January December, January to February is normally very dry, but normal uh, at this point in time, this, uh, uh, this uh, from right from December, we have been having changes in weather. Climate change is actually very real, guys. Climate change is very real. Mary, 
fanya hivyo muende kwa nyumba that is why guys so this is the bicycle i should uh, uh refer to it as the king of the road this is the saddle normally when buying such a bicycle uh, they don't have such kind of saddle the saddle that uh saddle is this uh, part where uh people sit on it is uh, uh, quite different but this one is a uh, a bit new so guys it has started to rain i love to cut short this video place it uh, this bicycle somewhere else and then i'll come back to you thank you guys guys it's uh just drizzling not raining that heavily and uh from the look of things maybe the sun will come out later on so you're back at the king of the road this is the king of the road according to me uh it's interesting in the past uh most people like in the old 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 olden days uh the old men who used to own such kind of a bicycle were treated as uh, very rich fellows like uh you may you, you could find one person in a a very huge kilometer square uh was the only one owning such kind of a bicycle i don't know if such kind of bicycles are present in uh, other continents i think it is just famous in africa and uh, asia in europe if you are from europe uh the uk or maybe you are from uh, northern america you can comment down on the comment section if you normally have such kind of a bicycle uh, black mamba i don't know why they named it black mamba did they derive the characteristics from uh, uh the snake black mamba or what because uh, not all of these bicycles are black in color there are some that are blue some are red but majority of them will find that they are dark in color so i have a plan for this bicycle uh i'm gonna scrap or rather scrub all this and then reapply some uh, uh some paint paint it afresh all the way to the back so this is the carrier guys you know uh, the carrier is normally fitted in in a style you can see this uh this metal uh intersecting with uh, this saddle going down there's a piece of wood this one that uh the carrier is normally fixed onto you can see here this uh, piece of wood small wood and then the carrier is fixed onto connected to the sprocket nowadays uh, uh, some people are abandoning such kind of uh, bikes especially the ones who you know so there are some people who are commercializing it especially around this area where i am one of these fine days if i start to move around i'll show you how some people use them they call them border 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 is actually the name that was first derived from such bicycles because uh, there are people who use such kind of bicycle to to ferry people uh, uh, this carrier uh, the, the place where the 
uh, career is they normally place something like a a coach here yes guys so this part uh, is where people used to sit and uh, you know they, they couldn't sit this is a gunny bag I placed it here they, they can't sit here because it's not that comfortable so they place something like a a small a small coach over here a small coach over here so that uh, whoever is sitting on on it so that whoever will be sitting on on the carrier path cannot uh, cannot feel the pain uh, it is said there is a saying pain on the ass annoying something that is annoying it is said pain on the ass so that they cannot feel pain uh, these are the brakes I said showed you this is the front brake the front brake is controlled by the by the by this left part and the right path controls the 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 brake that is behind this brake is here this brake actually is uh, also made of rubber just like the front path in some countries especially the developed or rather just to put it there are some people who buy some of the parts from uh, from shops but there are some who prefer purchasing such from local uh, crafts 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 persons like uh, you can you, you can see this uh, the kind of uh, sandal that I'm putting on it is made of tire guys it's actually made of tire uh, in Africa most of the Africans prefer to either recycle things or make use of things uh, like we don't just throw throw away tires or since well, some some of the countries don't have all the sorry guys the sun i think it's about to come out so i was saying that some most of the countries don't have the necessary industries for recycling some of the old tires so some people resort to using them uh, modifying things like this one you can see if i clean it guys it's gonna be very 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 nice very awesome uh there's one tribe in kenya known as maasai they prefer uh working with this you know with this it's hard for it to fade like uh you can see the the thread of the tire also this thread it's very difficult you can uh, use this for for years for so many years and uh, without it uh, the soil fading unlike these other ones that are made of uh, things like rubber they easily fade away i've just remind uh, I remembered something you know when riding such kind of a bicycle guys sometimes it's like uh, driving a vehicle where you drive a vehicle and uh, you hear the statement the brakes failed <laughs> with this when uh, uh, when an uh, unfortunate situation happens and uh, uh, the brake fails or like uh, you are because this is the hind brake and then you apply it and it gets to this point that is full application of the brake because when you press this brake you can see when i press like this up 
the left uh, this is the handle bar the, the the left uh handle on, on the handle bar when i press it upwards the brake uh you can see that is the brake pad you can see it's, it's moving forward press move forward release it leaves a bit of space so and it, it fails to work and you are riding this bicycle bicycle and maybe you are cruising so fast what you do just place your leg here and uh, uh, because you will be saving your life just press it uh, with a lot of force uh, I'm speaking to my child. I'm telling him to assist me in holding because he doesn't have its stand. Uh, so you, when you, if you press here, this uh, brake will be applied. Or some, when the, when uh, you are cruising so fast and uh, the brake fails, and maybe because there are some who dare. They dare so badly. Like you find them riding such a bicycle without the brakes, without even these, uh, these stuff that uh, holds the brakes. Uh, so when they uh, get to a point and they need to stop, uh, they tend to, to put their feet down. Put their feet down like this. Steve. We don't see a camera, so that is really um, instructing my child to hold the camera for me so that I can demonstrate what I am saying for you. That is T. She care about? Yes. Unyangalisha by skin and unyangalisha. That is really, guys. Um. So. This is how they normally do. So imagine uh, if I could be cruising so fast and uh, the brakes fail. I'll have to like uh, ascend from the saddle. I ascend to this metallic part and then I'll put the, the legs like this. That way. I'll uh, be applying brakes using my feet. <laughs> so that is creativity at its best. Also, guys, it's as, it's advisable if you are maybe you are a passenger uh, being ferried using such a bicycle. Uh, it is good to to board a bicycle that the person who's riding or cycling the bicycle should be a bit taller than you. Reason, in case of any any uh, misfortune or like an uh, uh, incident, the tall person will be easier to step down. But a shorter person would easily make you to, to fall down. Sorry guys, there's something that has pricked me. What's that? something that has just pricked me uh look at these guys uh also modification modification yeah one bad thing that i don't like about some of the uh in Swahili we call them fundis the people who repair such kind of cycles uh, they most or some of them don't use uh, the right equipments to repair such kind of cycles. Like instead of uh, them doing it the right way, they like because uh, this uh, kind of cycle is uh, prone to a lot of modifications may find that instead of somebody using uh, uh, like uh, uh, pliers he, will, uh, he or she will use a very different equipment and uh, there are some 
people who use this bicycle to the point that the tires are you find that they are totally worn off totally worn off guys totally worn off but it's good to to use it this way uh, because you know there are some places that are especially sandy soils if you move with such kind of a bicycle they tend to to be very very slippery it's a beautiful day guys I thank god thank god for life the gift of life you should always be grateful for life you know there are some people at this point in time they are in prison the others who wish to have seen this day but they have not been able to but we and you watching this video we have been privileged to actually see this day so this is our hanging line they have made this pole it's just a pole they have stuck it down and then one cutting across and then these wires have been placed this is actually binding wire it's interesting there are some people of uh in africa instead of using binding wire for hanging line you find that they use barbed wire barbed wire so this is our neighboring farm this is the kind of barbed wire that some people use you can see the neighbor has already prepared the farm ready for planting so back to washing the bicycle since it's no longer raining as you can see and the sun is almost coming out so guys in this section of the video we are washing our ride <laughs> Steve, could you shake up? So this camera is uh, not good. I'm instructing my child to hold it for me. No, no, I can record. Niko ya pakatikati. Nasikia? Yes. Alafu unajaribu kusonga. Chungo si shike ndani. Ah, shike. No. So guys, since it doesn't have a stand, the best way to wash it is to place it upside down like this. Then, and then I pick the water. Water. So guys, my guys, my my son is the one holding the camera for me. So such kind of a bicycle it's not that hard to wash. Tangusha. So we are using the water that has 
we have just washed uh, the clothes with to wash the bicycle. It's good to recycle things, reuse, <clears throat> to avoid a lot of wasting. No, no, I So, guys, there are some people instead of uh, washing the bicycle, just take something to wipe and uh, just wipe it. Uh, some people prefer to wash it in a uh, mostly rivers and some who are near lakes sorry guys uh, some prefer to wash them near river sources or uh, large water bodies like uh, lakes uh, the shores of the lakes uh, the river banks and they wash them uh, this pedal around this area you can see it is uh, the most dirty part because it's uh, with the with the grease and the oil around this area it tends to attract a lot of dust so this is the part that it's a bit technical to wash but all these other parts are just uh, easier to wash So with the tire, I'll just rub it like this. Guys, the sun is already out. The beauty of Africa, guys. Uh, you know, in some countries, I'm told that they don't even see the sun rising up. And uh, you can see the sun rays uh showing coming out it has, it has come out this camera performs well when the sun, the sun is out you realize that uh the wheel when they do it like that it it uh gives an effect as if it is uh, going this way uh because of the spokes you know the spokes intertwine like this and it takes uh I'm telling him that it's going gonna fall on him because it doesn't have a sand it has to be to be straight like this where was I I've already forgotten what I was talking about so this is the brake you can see it has been modified here it's just as has been placed to to hold the brake that goes behind So guys, I think I'll just do it, clean it, and then get back to you because my children are, are the ones who are supposed to help me in holding the camera, but they're giving some time, some hard time. So guys, this is the video for today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if a... You have not subscribed please consider subscribing hit the like button and press the bell notification so that whenever i get to post you'll be uh, notified and uh, if you are blessed and uh, you are willing to support me on this project because uh, i'm thinking of transforming this uh, motorizing it so that in case, God willing, I start to explore different areas with the bike. Uh, you'll get to see it and experience it. All in all, thank you. I'm so grateful for the support.
for coming back to watch my videos uh, you can put down whatever comments that uh, you feel can be helpful cheers guys see you on the next video thank you guys